The Megalodon is an extinct shark species which lived millions of years ago. The creature was the biggest ever documented shark. It was not only large, but it was also terrifying. However, there are other creatures known to be more frightening than the Megalodon. From the Helicoprion to the Jeclopterus, this video is about creatures that are more terrifying than the Megalodon. Let's begin. Huh? Number 10. Helicoprion the name Helicoprion was devised by Alexander Petrovich Karpinsky, a Russian geologist in 1899. The Helicoprion, also known as Spiral Saw, was an ancient cartilaginous fish similar to a shark, which became extinct approximately 230 million years ago. On the nose of this creature was a toothy spiral. Many paleontologists struggled to understand where this creature, believed to be a Paleozoic remnant, belonged. Further, they sought to understand where in the creature the circular blade fit. Alexander opines that while the coiled fossils resembled the shelled nautilus and demonides which paleontologists found in the fossil marine record, they formed part of a shark-like fish. There was no indication to prove whether such a weird feeding creature could fit. In a bid to explain further, Alexander said he believed that the creature's toothy spiral was located in its nose. Some paleontologists, however, disagreed with his explanation. Researchers and scientists are yet to unravel where the spiral saw fit in the helicopter. Number 9. Mazasaurus The Mazasaurus was an aquatic reptile which belonged to the monitor lizard species. This creature utilized its shark-like tail and four flippers to chase fast prey such as turtles, snatch them using its huge jaws, and eventually swallow them whole. The creature's average length was between 12 and 15 meters. However, some of them grew up to 17 meters. The Mazasaurus was a courageous creature which had no fear of other creatures except fellow Mazasauruses. It had long jaws complete with over 70 extremely sharp teeth. It also had an additional set of teeth on the upper side of its mouth. This meant that anything the creature caught had no way of escaping. This creature ate large fish, turtles, and even other Mazasauruses, with many researchers saying that it could have been a cannibal. The Mazasaurus creatures lived approximately 70 million years ago and were popular in the Western Interior Seaway, an indication that it preferred the warm climates of North America. The inaugural Mazasaurus fossils were discovered in 1764 and were believed to have emanated from a whale. The remains would later be identified by Johann Hoffmann, a physician, in 1778 who said they were from a crocodile. However, many other scientists have identified them with each giving a different explanation. Number 8. Jeclopterus The Jeclopterus is a species of a carnivorous Eurypterid, an extinct group of marine arthropods. Remains of this creature were discovered in layers of the early and Devonian age, from the Emsian and Pragian stages. There are two recognized species of this creature, the species J. Hoeli, which is found in estuarine strata of Wyoming, and species J. Renini, which initially lived in saline water before transitioning to freshwater strata in Rhineland. According to separated remains of a huge claw from the German Klerf formation, J. Renini grew between approximately 2.3 to 2.6 meters, which means that it was the biggest arthropod ever documented, outdoing other big arthropods, such as Arthropleura, Pterygotus, and Eurypterids acutoramus. J. Hoeli was smaller, growing up to 80 centimeters lengthwise. The Jeclopterus resembles other pterygotid Eurypterids, with an elongated telson, huge forelimbs, and expanded pincers. Both of this creature's species were previously thought to be a genus of the Pterygotus. However, they were brought up as a detached species, according to a difference noted around the genital limb. Scientists have discovered other features which differentiate this species from its relatives, such as a difference in the slanting claw denticles and the triangular-shaped telson. The creature's compound eyes and the chalicerae show that it was once a powerful and active creature complete with enhanced visual intelligence. Number 7. Quetzalcoatlus The Quetzalcoatlus belonged to the pterodactyloid pterosaur genus from North America's late Cretaceous period. It was the biggest flying animal that ever lived and was also a member of the Ashdarkidae, a developed toothless pterosaur family which featured stiff and long necks. While this creature was not a dinosaur, watching it fly across the sky would have been a sight to behold. 
The skull material obtained from the smaller species of this creature indicates that it had a long and sharp beak with no end or hook, similar to that of a modern stock. Studies from earlier material indicated that the creature had a weird, blunt snout. Previously, scientists who discovered this creature's fossil believed that it belonged to a pterosaur whose wingspan was approximately 13.7 meters. Number 6. Titanoboa Titanoboa was a huge monster the weight and size of a big, elongated school bus. According to research, the enormous snake was similar to a boa constrictor with crocodile hunting skills. The Titanoboa appeared 5 million years following the KT extinction, an event which happened 65 million years ago and erased all dinosaurs. Titanoboa was among the inaugural huge reptiles to salvage the eco-friendly niches left by marine reptiles and dinosaurs at the completion of the Cretaceous period. The Paleocene Epoch mammals did not evolve to enormous sizes until after 20 million years. Before the Titanoboa was discovered, the Gigantophis was the king in the world of snakes. This creature was four times the weight of a present-day enormous anaconda and twice as long. The biggest specimens of snakes today weigh approximately 500 pounds and are 25 feet long. Compared to modern-day snakes, the Titanoboa was the king of the snake realm. Researchers opine that the Titanoboa wasn't as poisonous as other smaller reptiles. This creature's trunk was thicker than its end and is estimated to have been approximately 3 feet. Number 5. Lyoplerodon the Lyoplerodon, also known as smooth-sided teeth, was discovered in the 19th century. This creature was named from research conducted on three teeth, each of which was approximately three inches long, discovered in 1873 from a town in France. Marine reptile fanatics have since been forced to use the name, which is not only unattractive, it lacks transparency. Many people have learned about the Lyoplerodon from a TV series that the BBC ran in 1999. However, the series producer stated that the creature was 80 feet lengthwise, which was an exaggerated estimation. The Lyoplerodon is approximately 30 feet lengthwise. The creature belonged to a type of aquatic reptiles known as pleosaurs. These were characterized by their stretched heads, protracted flippers hooked up to thick torsos, and slightly short necks. In the late Jurassic period, which happened approximately 160 million years ago, water covered a big percentage of the modern-day Western Europe. There was a good collection of pleosaurs and plesiosaurs, which explains why the remains were found in France. The Lyoplerodon was the ultimate predator of its aquatic ecosystem, which consumed fish, squids, and various small marine reptiles. Number 4. Megatherium Megatherium americanum means great beast from America. It's the scientific name used to describe an extinct genus of enormous ground sloth. Manuel Torres discovered the inaugural megatherium in Argentina in 1787. They would later be shipped to the Madrid Museo Nacional de Ciencias, where the original skeleton is exhibited to date. Modern day sloths are slightly small mammals, hardly measuring a meter lengthwise and weighing approximately five kilograms. The mammals, which are today restricted to Central and North America spend a better part of their time suspended from tree branches. Sloths are popularly known for their slow movements and low energy levels. They belong to the Xenarthra group, which includes the anteaters and the armadillos. Unlike present-day sloths, which live on trees and are smaller, ancient sloths lived on the ground, with some being quite bigger. Megatherium americanum was approximately 10 times bigger than modern-day sloths and weighed up to 4 tons. This creature was approximately 12 feet while standing on its hind legs. Fossils of the Megatherium americanum were discovered from the Middle Pleistocene approximately 400,000 years ago. While this creature had captivating claws, it was a vegetarian, a phenomenon which has been validated by chemical evaluation of its teeth. It couldn't walk or stand on its hind legs, making it the biggest bipedal mammal ever documented. Number 3. The Lato Archon the Lato Archon is an extinct species of ichthyosaur, which originated at the Middle Triassic west of United States. The species was found in 2010 in Nevada, USA. The Thalato Archon measures approximately 8.6 meters lengthwise and is believed to have been among the inaugural marine macro predators. This creature consumed prey as big as itself, an ecological function which can be compared to that of present-day orcas. The Lato Archon existed 4 million years following the inaugural appearance of the ichthyosaur 
dinosaurs in the ancient Triassic, making it the oldest marine reptile ever documented, which was also the ultimate predator. This creature was diagnosed using a single characteristic which is unique among the ichthyosaurs. It's thin and large teeth which have two cutting edges complete with flowing tooth crowns. Modern day ichthyosaurs come with cone-shaped smaller teeth, and the present day Triassic ichthyosaur Himalayasaurus tibetensis features big teeth complete with cutting edges. However, they have grooves on the surface of their tooth crowns, which differentiates them from the Thalatoarchon. Number 2. Scolopendra giganti Scolopendra giganti are irritable, venomous, huge insects. However, they're also jumpy and nervous and can grow up to 12 inches lengthwise. Its body has marked sections where each pair of its legs are hooked. The legs are designed for rapid retreating and attacking, and it has a flat armor which covers its head. Further, it has sharp claws on its legs and two antenna. This creature penetrates through a victim's skin to inject venom using its sharp claws. Scolopendra giganti are predators that almost feed on everything they can kill. They're strong enough to overpower vertebrates and tarantulas such as frogs, lizards, birds, and some snakes. This creature's venom is powerful and capable of killing many small animals. It's lethal to humans as well and causes swelling, severe pain, fatigue, and fever. Number 1. The Leviathan Leviathan Melvelli is an ancient whale that lived approximately 13 million years ago in the Miocene period. It was first discovered in 2008 when remains were gathered from the coastal Peru desert. It would later be named in 2010. When this creature was discovered, it was first named Leviathan, meaning a biblical monster. Considering the fact that another genus had already been given that name, this whale's name was changed to Leviathan. Still, many paleontologists call it Leviathan to date. A closer look at Leviathan images would make you think that this creature looked like a modern-day sperm whale, just as some paleontologists believe. Seeing that only the head was discovered, scientists are unable to determine whether the entire body looked like that of a sperm whale. What they are sure of is that the Leviathan was an ancient sperm whale. Research indicates that Leviathan never feasted on plankton, as many whales do. Paleontologists suggest that this creature ate dolphins, seals, and other whales. Are you convinced that these creatures exist? Do you know of other frightening creatures? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.